Now we're working the latest developments on the workers' compensation case against the owners of the station nightclub. Back in March, a court upheld a more than $1 million fine against Michael and Jeffrey Dedarian and their company Durco. The penalty was assessed more than eight years ago. Tonight, the Department of Labor and Training says it's time to pay up. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now live from the newsroom with more. Mike, basically in essence here, this, the uh, Department of Labor and Training wrote to the state Supreme Court. They asked the court not to uh, give the right to hear the Dedarian's case. More than a decade after the station nightclub fire claimed a hundred lives, a legal battle still remains. After the fire, brothers Jeffrey and Michael Dedarian and their company Derco were issued a penalty of more than a million dollars for failing to purchase workers' compensation insurance for their employees as required by law. In March, a court denied the appeal by the Dedarians. The Dedarians argued they were protected under the law because they're a limited liability company, or LLC. Now's the last chance for the Dedarians. They can appeal to the Rhode Island Supreme Court, but before the court will decide if they even want to hear the case, the Department of Labor and Training reached out to the state Supreme Court. We obtained the memorandum in which the DLT says it's time for the brothers to pay up, and they're requesting the court not take the case. The DLT goes on to say in the memorandum, the chief Chief flaw in the petitioner's arguments is in fact their refusal to accept the very basic fact that their failure to obtain and maintain workers' compensation insurance caused great harm to innocent people. Now, an attorney for the Dedarians uh, responded to these DLT allegations, saying the brothers already made monthly voluntary payments to the victims' families from 2005 to 2011, and the attorney says there will be a formal response to the state Supreme Court later this month. And we are told by court officials it's unclear when the State Department will decide if they'll even hear this case. We are told it could be within the next three weeks, though. Live in the newsroom, Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.